one side, one side, one side, Lobo, one side, Lobo, one side, Lobo, one side. What's going on, YouTube? I'm Real Divine here. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button, turn notification bell on to join the Divine Army. You know, I post tons of awesome Apex Legends tutorials, montages, funny moments, and so much more. If you guys do enjoy the video, please, please, please make sure to leave a like. Helps me more than you guys know. All right, that's enough introduction. Let's get straight into the video. This one is rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping. Oh my God. What's up, everybody? I'm Ro Devon here. Hope everyone's having a dope day. As usual, we gotta shout out all the soldiers down below. That's everybody subscribed to me, became a part of the Divine Army. Appreciate the love and support you guys continue to show. Road to 5K, baby. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys smack that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss when I upload. And with that being said, let's jump straight into today's video because today I'm bringing you guys Apex Legends Season 7 rank tips and let's get straight into it. Okay, so if you guys aren't aware, I already have a few videos on my channel how to climb for specific ranks, like for example, climbing from silver to gold, um, and you know, for example, platinum to diamond. Um, but these were for the previous seasons, not on the new map Olympus. Um, I don't want to recreate those videos because a lot of those tips still apply and I'll just be kind of recycling the same content. Um, but I did want to bring you guys some tips and tricks on how to climb um, the ranks in um, Apex Legends Season 7 with the new map. Um, it's not going to be the exact same tips in those videos. You know, it's going to be a little bit different. You know, and as I climb, because currently I started at the start over from bronze because I didn't play the last season as much um, ranked wise. Um, so as I climb the ranks and I get back to, you know, Diamond and Masters and whatnot, I want to bring you guys some tips and tricks, you know, to help you guys along the way. So this isn't going to be a detailed guide on how to specifically climb one ELO to the next, but this is going to be some general tips that you guys can apply to your gameplay, and it's going to help you guys, you know, climb the ranks in general. So if you guys are struggling, um, this is the perfect video for you guys. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first tip I got for you guys, and that's specifically for the new season and the new map Olympus, and that is to use auto rifles and snipers. Um, I really recommend using auto rifles and snipers because the map um, is a little bit more spread out, it's a little bit more open. I'm not saying you can't use submachine guns like the Vault, the, um, the R99 or whatever, but I recommend using assault rifles and snipers because a lot of times you're going to be in um, long range fights sometimes and you know a nice auto rifle with a two time scope and you know a triple take in your hand with maybe a three time scope is really going to give you an edge over the enemy. Um, like I said, you can still win this um, these meta and play with those submachine machine gun but I really recommend using auto rifles and snipers if that means if you have a good shot with your snipers I don't recommend using snipers but if you have accuracy with snipers um, by the way but yeah so that's my first tip for you guys is try to use auto rifles and snipers for this meta and see and see if it helps you guys you know your game let's move on to tip number two okay so moving on to a super super important tip that is positioning and angles what I mean by positioning and angles is to take advantage of Olympus's terrain you know the map is very vertical and what I mean by that I can't think of the exact word I'm looking for but the um, the environment has a lot of layers to it so you can be above someone you can be underneath someone um, and take advantage of that take advantage of your positioning try to you know have high ground high ground helps a lot because you have a head glitch they can only see a certain amount of your body and you can see a lot of their body um, come from different angles and what I mean by that if they're you know expecting you to come from one way come from a completely different way you know Pathfinder is a perfect example of that because he can just grapple around they're gonna expect you to come from the front a lot of times Pathfinder grapples around from the back or the side and that's a different angle also positioning uh, means you know to try to be always near cover be in a position so that way you can always get out of dodge or you can retreat really quick if you have to um, or be in a position that you can um, you know push positioning and angles this is a strong strong tip if you guys really practice the um, practice these I'm telling you guys are gonna improve as a player dramatically this doesn't matter what elo you guys are in if you always improve your positioning and your angles um, you guys are gonna start to dominate so let's move on to tip number three Okay, so moving on to tip number three, I have using the trident. You guys might be a little bit upset with me for adding this as a tip, but I really, really think this is a great tip um, for you guys because 
Apex Legends, you know, is is a position, it's a fast-paced game, and, you know, movement and stuff like that is critical to Apex Legends. So, you know, a vehicle like the Trident that, you know, grants, you know, fast movement positioning very, very quickly is such useful and vital in Apex Legends. Um, the higher elo you get, it might be a little more difficult to use it because a lot of players have really good aim and they team shoot. But starting off and as you climb the ranks, it's a very, very good tool to use because, for example, if you guys land near Trident, for example, um, you guys really quickly you can go third party because you can just drive to the third party really really quickly and take advantage of stuff like that also you can use the trident for positioning to get inside the circle really quickly near the end of the games you know a lot of um players you know on the lower elos struggle to have good accuracy so you can just drive right past them you know get a nice position heal up and then go fight um so the trident is a really really useful tool for apex legend season 7 i really really like it. it's fun to use it reminds me kind of like the warthog mixed with another vehicle from halo but it's really really fun to use you know like I said the map is really really open and along with you know using assault rifles and snipers and everything it's going to really help you guys out in your gameplay so let's move on to tip number four okay so I don't want to make this video too too long because I got a billion tips for you guys that I could just list and list and list so um, I want to make this into a series for you guys so you know I always have you know a nice little video to help you guys out if you guys are stuck anywhere so moving on to the last tip um, I'm gonna name this one shielding and what I mean by this for example is you know um, to always try to have your best shields in your slot at um, all times and what I mean for this um, for example is I personally always like if I have a battery I always have a battery equipped on me so if I get damaged really quickly and I get out of um, cover I can just press up on the d-pad and pop my battery really really quickly because this game is all about speed timing and movement so if you can pop a battery here really quickly after you get a knock or something it's gonna help you guys a lot also if you don't have a battery like for a shield cell for example always have that shield cell equipped instead of having a syringe a lot of people don't play um, pay attention to the minute um, details and everything but if you're in a gunfight you have to switch it really messes you guys up um, and now my advanced players who watch my channel might already know this tip but you know there are a lot of players who actually aren't aware of stuff like this so I want to break down the game detail by detail for you guys so you guys can act so everyone on my channel can get better so that's my last tip for you guys um, I hope this video was um, you know useful and informative to you guys if it was useful anyway please make sure to smack that like button it helps me so much with the YouTube algorithm um, also if you guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoy the content please 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 make sure you guys smack the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss when I upload and yeah I'm gonna stop rambling for this video I got a bunch of dope content coming for you guys for season 7 and I will catch you guys in my next video I'm out peace Fuckin' safe